When should you consider purchasing a robot? This is a question that's been bugging me ever since I posted this clip of me blinging out my certificate frames for my PLC training class. And so many of you kindly commented, surely I could automate this process. But as Reed McDonald said, you can't automate the personal touch of making them by hand. Then Errol Fernandez jumped in there and said, can we collaborate on this? And that's been bouncing around in my head for the past year. My name is Tim and I help you become a better technician, mostly through our PLC programming videos and our in-person training. And I love rewarding technicians at the end of the week with this frame that they can show proudly. But can I use this as an example of how to automate a project from start to finish? Honestly, I don't even know when we should look at purchasing a robot. I don't think it's really a robot that people need. It's automation that they need. And a lot of times people will come to us and they'll say, hey, I need a robot. All they really need is maybe just some simple kind of automation. I know I've watched some of your YouTube videos and you're showing off that wire stripper. And that's really a form of automation. I'm not really sure if we could sell you a robot to strip wires. And sometimes people need to start there. If it's just taking this cap and putting it on this part over here and you have to do 2,000 of those a day, that might be a good job for a robot. So it's some task that creates some sort of boredom and not really uh, productive for a human. I mean, why would you want to sit there and do something over and over and over all day long? That's why you want a robot. I've never been in the discovery phase of an automation project. By the time I get there, someone's already identified the need and justified the solution. How do you justify an automation project? I think for most businesses out there, when we talk to someone about a robot or automation, the very first question we ask are like, how many parts do you make a year? You want to get some sort of an ROI. That means return on investment. That's really the number one way of how a small business or any company justifies purchasing a big equipment. If you're only making 500 parts a year, it may be really hard for you to justify, let's say, a $10,000 piece of equipment or a $30,000 collaborative robot. You know, you're only making 500 parts a year and maybe you're only making 10 bucks on the part. You're making like $5,000 a year on that one part. All of your profit is going to go to pay for your automation. And so all of the businesses out there look at it from that way as an investment. And most of the time, businesses want to see an ROI of about two years on their equipment. Can I add enough benefit for the technicians that are coming to my training by seeing a small automated process in here to eliminate this personal touch? Can I get our industry to collaborate so we can get into those details that so many of us miss on our first automation projects? Honestly, folks, this one is a tall order. So if you would like to see a video on this, then put it down in the comments. And if you wouldn't like to see this project, then put that down in the comments as well. And if this series actually happens, then I'll pop a playlist right here that takes you to our initial project planning phase.